Hey Collective, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. And to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. I just want to thank everybody for your likes, your subscribes, your shares, and all of your comments. <clears throat> if your reading doesn't fit, don't try to force it to resonate. And please take the rules and reverse them as needed. And thank you for watching. So the cards that have come out are the High Priestess, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. So there's something that could be coming in um, that your intuition is telling you that this could be something that you need to hold back from because it could it could cause you a loss. Um, whatever this is, it's like you feel this way because there's something about focusing your energy somewhere else where you feel like there was a missed opportunity. And with the Ace of Wands coming out right after that, it's talking about your intuition. <clears throat> Looking at something that you have invested in or that you're going to be investing in where you're going to be pouring a lot of energy and the Tower has come out. So... This is resonating with the other reading. There's something about an unexpected opportunity that's coming towards you. And this could be coming in after a period of you losing a lot of time, money, or energy somewhere where you feel like you wasted your time. And it's like there's a new beginning that's coming in. And this is something that's going to be very exciting for you. And this could also be unexpected. Whatever this is, there's an unexpected shift in, in energy or a big change. This could be after dealing with somebody that um, is really stuck in their ego, who has done something to cause you a lot of pain. But whoever this is, there's something about someone being stuck in their ego and a lot of busy energy happening whenever this unexpected change comes in. So you may be required to listen to your intuition and make very quick changes or quick move moves whenever it comes to whatever this change has to do with. I don't know why I thought that before the card came out, I was thinking something to do with the devil. There could be somebody around you who, whenever this change happens and you're making all of these moves, that somebody, it's like somebody could be trying to stop you or there could be energy around you that's keeping you from moving forward. It's like there could be somebody trying to put you in your head about a change that's going to be coming in and they could be telling you that this is going to cause you a loss. <clears throat> Your feelings or your emotions or your intuition is telling you to invest in whatever this is. This could be a job offer. This could be something that leads to something to do with marriage, commitment, or a contract. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Pisces or have those signs somewhere in your chart or Capricorn. You need to know that this opportunity that's coming in, um, whatever your intuition is telling you to move towards, you need to know that you're protected during this time. You're on higher ground whenever it comes to whatever these other energies are. So this could be coming towards you. Something unexpected or very sudden is coming in. The tower has come out a lot in a lot of the readings I've done today and yesterday. So... There's an energy shift that's happening that's going to cause a big change and whatever your immediate foundation is and you may have to move very quickly and make decisions based on your intuition versus knowing all of the information. But it's like your intuition is guiding you correctly. The divine is guiding you correctly and protecting you while you're making these movements. This could have to do with work.
the devil is being clarified by the hermit and justice. So there could be someone where there's like sn sneaky energy or something that's been very quiet. Or someone who's been trying to keep you from moving forward. There's something about justice coming in around that person or around that energy. This could be a Libra or Virgo. Or you could have this sign somewhere in your chart. Whoever's been trying to stop your forward movement, there's justice about to come in around for whatever this is. Then um, the Two of Swords and Strength fell on top of these cards here. I'm getting these are like two different energies. So it's like the opposing energy that's coming towards you that causes this tower. It's, it's like a clash of energies. And these two, whatever this is, it's like you are here and you're protected and you're moving forward. There's something about having to listen to your intuition when you're making these next moves and having courage to continue to move forward. You need to know that you're protected while you're making these decisions. And I just heard a beep, so that's confirmation that that's, that's what this message is. Whatever this opposing energy is, <laughs> I just heard another one that's more confirmation. So the, whatever this opposing energy is, there's something about um, somebody angrily coming towards you or passionately coming towards you or somebody trying to stop a new beginning from happening for you. And this could be somebody who's very toxic or karmic to you. This could be somebody that you work with who this person could be making these moves towards you in like they're secretly doing something and whatever this is, there's a truth that could be exposed whenever it comes to this this energy that it's like somebody who's doing something calculated and this is this could be coming to the surface yeah and this there's a change here that's showing up with the wheel of fortune so this energy that's um controlling or trying to block you or trying to block a new beginning there's a, a big change that's coming in with this unexpected event in the tower here. <clears throat> this tower that's coming in has to do with equal give and take and something being reciprocated or someplace where something has been one-sided. It's going to force this change to like either where somebody has to give something to you or a gift being given to you. Or someone, it's like someone's going to be giving you something or there's going to be a reciprocation of energy where somebody maybe tried to either take something from you, stop your new beginning, take a new beginning from you. That It's like that's what this shift is. This has to do with somebody who tried to cause you pain. And it's like you're healing from this. That could be what it is that you're being given. You could be, it's like you could be given, I don't want to say given healing because that doesn't sound like the correct way to say it. But it's something about you, whoever was doing something in the dark that is coming to the light. And it's like this energy of something being exposed or a truth being seen is going to cause you to heal or cause a situation to be healed or healed or become whole that's allowing you to move forward and it's like in the meantime there's something you could be doing that's in parallel to whatever this energy is where maybe this truth has not been exposed yet but there's something else that you're supposed to be dealing with at this time that your intuition has to guide you through I hope that's making sense because I'm getting to, it's like two, I'm getting opposing energy. So whoever's been doing something with their right hand, it's like the right hand and the left hand don't know what's happening, but the body that's connected between the two, I just heard a body of water. So it's like there's something happening, happening inside a body of water where a truth is being exposed at the same time that you are going through a change in your life where you're having to listen to your intuition you could know that this is going to be coming in. You could know a big change is about to happen. Like that a truth is going to be exposed at the same time that you're going through something very big. 
And it's like, you know that this is going to come in. So you're, you could be making preparation or be making changes for these two things to coincide with each other. I hope this is making sense. Um, let's see. So it's like, it's two different things. Let me see if I can get clarification because I don't feel like I'm articulating this correctly. So somebody that you've been fighting with, there's going to be a victory around that and you're getting to move on. That's funny. That's very basic. <laughs> so there's someone who's had opposing energy to you and you're going to be successful over this energy and get to move on. So for some of you, this is something like um, you could be waiting for a promotion to be announced and you already know that you're going to get this job. You know that you're going to be picked for it and you could maybe need to be um, planning for whatever that promotion entails. So like if you're going to have a new schedule or if you're going to need to um, make arrangements for different transportation or different child care so that you can take care of this promotion. But you're also waiting for this to be announced and technically you're not supposed to know about it, but it's like your intuition is telling you that you already have it. For others of you, this has to do with a court case. Like you could have a court date that's coming up and you know that no matter what, at the end of this court date, this will be over. And so you're making preparation for the things to come in after that. Whatever this is, it's talking about this fighting energy is something you're moving on from. And it's like, Fighting, being successful, and then moving on. And this is going to be happening very quickly. <laughs> or you could have communication coming towards you. But what it's showing is the Knight of Swords and the world. So it's like you're moving very quickly towards this ending or towards the closure of a cycle. With the star energy coming out, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or there's something about you being in the public eye or healing on an exponential level. There's something about an energy shift in you that's going to be happening. So um, right after this ending comes in or the cycle closes out, it's like in this card, this looks like something cosmic. It's like there's something in alignment for you. This could be in your birth chart. This could have to do with your life's path this there's something about there's going to be an upheaval of energy but there's a huge shift that's coming in for you some of you could meditate um there could be something about your soul gravity gravitating to something and your heart opening or your heart space clearing whenever all of this changes There's a lot of messages I'm getting off of these cards, but it's got something to do with you being in alignment. So like your chakras lighting up or you're going to be receiving some sort of a divine download or something to do with your life's path. Or There is something for a lot of you where you're going to be doing something humanitarian. You could be doing, this could be something that's in the public eye or you dealing with a lot of people, but... You're shining very brightly at the end of whatever this has to do with. <clears throat> Some of you could be moving on from a really adversarial soulmate that has been in your life for a very long period of time. This could be somebody that you were divinely paired with to, to have this soul's awakening. Others of you, it's like you're just getting out of something that has been really hard for you. And if this is not romantic, this could have to do with just anything in your life. It's some energy that you have been tethered to for a very, very long time. And there's a decision that's being made where you're moving on from this. And it's like you're moving on quickly without looking back. There could be a physical move or you could actually be doing something traveling. You could be getting a new car. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Gemini. You could also be dealing with an air sign, another air sign. So Gemini is really strong here, but um, 
Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So let's see what else. Whatever it is that you're going towards, you there's opportunities that are coming in that it's like you're going to be putting your work into different places in your life where a lot of things are going to be elevating for you. You could have somebody who's spying on you whenever you, this could be this old energy where they're looking in on your life or trying to do something or whenever this happens, you could just have a lot of people who are very curious about you. They could be curious like why you are the way that you are or why do you know the things that you know. <clears throat> The Queen of Swords, the Empress, and the Sun have come out. So what I'm seeing is when you go into this next cycle, when you moved into this new energy, this could be energy that you're in now, but there's something about making concise intellect, intellectual decisions whenever it comes to do with your abundance and your energy and what you invest in because you are somebody who it's like there's you're having – an uplifting or an awakening and it's calling in clarity for you and clarity around your abundance. There's something about you being able to see very directly into what you should invest in because it's like what I'm getting is be careful about where you're investing your time and your energy because you are very abundant at this time and you're going to be able to easily create things for you but it's like be careful is maybe not the correct verbiage to use here because what I'm seeing is that it's like you're making head over heart decisions where you're investing in things that are going to bring in abundance and happiness. So where you're going is calling in happiness for you. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Taurus or have those signs somewhere in your chart. Someone's sun, sun, sun sign is Taurus that you you could be dealing with, or this is your sun sign. You could be <coughs> moving into some space where it's like you're going to be in maybe a leadership position or in in something where you have to partner with people or work together with people. Somebody from your past is going to be coming towards you. This could be somebody that you have children with or this could be someone just that you have known for a very long time who has betrayed you. For some of you, this is just talking about energy around you that you're going to easily overcome. <laughs> and in this card, it's funny because it looks like someone, um, there's a really tiny person down here and this other person is standing on top of these three pentacles and for, for some of you there was a point in time where you wanted to run this person over but it's like now you can't even see them they're nowhere near you and you just roll past them <laughs> with all your pentacles so this the pentacles energy could be um time money or energy so there's there could be something about you um creating no abundance for yourself or being in such high vibrational energy that you can't even see this person and they could be wanting to come back towards you to partner in some way um for some of you you do have children with this person and it's like they could have treated you very poorly for a very significant length of time and they could be wanting to come back in after you have won something or after you're investing in something or after they see that this isn't something that um Whatever they've done to you is, is not a move that was correct because now you're abundant and in your own energy without them. <clears throat> and you're moving on from them. This is not somebody that... If this is talking about something that you're currently in where somebody's treating you very poorly, there's something about you having a lot later on and this person seeing that, this person seeing that they got left behind. I 
and that you're getting happiness. Whenever you were with whoever this was, this is somebody who put you through enough stuff that you chose to walk away from them to find your own happiness. And it's like the energy that you're moving to is that, I mean, the sun has come out and the 10 of pentacles, I'm sorry, and the 10 of cups. So for me to have said pentacles, some of you could be receiving a lot of money, but there's also a lot of happiness that's coming in for you for whatever you're moving towards. So if this is new groups of people, if this is new friends, if this is new, um, if this is a new relationship, it's like the energy around you is going to be something that you are content in. And with the tower coming out at the beginning of this, it's like you could be going through a space where there's a huge, huge, huge shift where you're feeling uncomfortable with this shift, but it's like, it's just changing where your comfort zone lies is all. And it's like, for a lot of you, you were used to being treated a certain way, being treated poorly. And when you go into this new cycle, I'm getting for some of you, it's like you are shocked with the way that people are with you because people, they come to you correctly or they respect you without you having to do anything where before you were in a cycle where it was like you had to work very hard with the people that were around you to have respect or for them to be respectful to you or for them to be loyal to you. And it's like you're leaving these things behind. Um, let's see. I'm going to pick these up and we're going to pull from a different deck. <clears throat> You do have a new beginning coming towards you, and it is something that somebody tried to keep from you, and this is something that you're going to be very passionate and excited about. So if there's a shift going on right now, a big change um, that you're uneasy about, you need to know that this shift is supposed to happen for you, and it's bringing in something really good. <laughs> and that sounds very basic, but that's what I'm seeing. It's like there's happiness that's coming in um, after a long period of being betrayed or having to work really hard against somebody who is being adversarial with you. For some of you, this has to do with somebody that you have children with. This person could have said that you um, were neglecting or abusing your children or they did something to something like that with you. Um, this could be somebody who is a bad parent. This could be somebody who is addicted to um, like drugs or just toxicity. This is someone that it's like this, this is the person that you're leaving behind. For, for a lot of you, there's something going on with a court case around children where this person's lies are going to be exposed and this person's going to end up crying over you. Whoever this is, they did everything that they could to try to intimidate you or stop you or block you. This person could be in this energy now where they're crying over you, but for some of you, there's something about this unexpected shift is what causes this. And you could be ignoring this person. For a lot of you, the energy that I'm getting, it's like you've been in this cycle so long with whoever this other person is that you could be like this cat. <laughs> it's like you're um, just laying there. Well, you've gotten used to the toxicity that's around you and now it doesn't bother you. And it's like that energy of releasing anxiety or worry about what's going on. It's like you're living in your truth and it doesn't matter what people around you are doing. And that's what's calling in this new cycle or calling in a tower. <clears throat> Somebody could be feeling nostalgic about you, this person who has these bad habits, or that you have children with. This person could be very hurt and in their ego because you don't care anymore. <clears throat> They could have done these things to you because of money or because they were trying to um, to show off or they were doing something where they were, it's like they were trying to put you in your place or prove that if they left you behind that you wouldn't have anything and there's something that's um, shifting with that. So it's like you could be moving or deciding to move. No matter what, whoever I'm speaking to, you're moving out of this energy. So if you're not physically changing locations, there's something about your energy moving on. It's like you're taking the stuff that you want to take with you to this next cycle and just going. <clears throat> For some of you, you could be starting a new business. Um, there could be somebody who is wealthy that has their eye on you whenever you move into this next cycle. 
You could be planning a trip. For some of you, this is a celebration trip. Like there's something that's closing and it's like you're planning to go somewhere. <clears throat> For others of you, you could have booked travel this week. You could be booking travel in the future, even if this isn't happening now. Uh, I just heard stethoscope. So there could be something with your health um, that you could be celebrating. Like you could be hearing something back about your health um, where you thought something was one thing, but it turned out to be something else. And you're getting like a clean bill of health. And if this isn't... Um, your actual health, this could be energetically. And for some of you, it's like this is, this <laughs> has to do with somebody who was around you, like trying to force something on you, trying to force a narrative, trying to force control, trying to force scarcity tactics over your life. Whoever this is, if you have children with them, I'm getting... With some of you, this is somebody who, like, said that you were a bad parent, but they were a bad parent. And so they were, like, they were trying to say that you are um, <laughs> the one that was doing things that they were doing and vice versa. There's a king and queen here on um, this card. So this could be somebody that you were married to that tried to force some sort of scarcity tactics over your life. For some of you, this has to do with parents. Like, this could be a mother and a father for others of you, this has to do with um, a relation, like a business relationship, where somebody perceived that they had more power than you, but you were just moving silently. <laughs> I just heard checkmate. This could be somebody who tried to put you in a love triangle. So for some of you, there was like a karmic couple who was doing something to you or someone who, it's like somebody was forcing triangulation. Like you cut this person off. You weren't trying to do anything with them. You wanted to just move on with your life. And that's what I was seeing at the beginning. It's like there was somebody who was doing something adversarial to you and this is going to be coming to the surface. Whatever this person tried to do, there's a truth that's going to be exposed about somebody triangulating your energy with somebody else and if this this was not a couple doing this it's like there was one person doing something to you using something where it was like you were forced to respond or forced to interact with whatever this has to do with so this could be a court system it could be a legal case it could be money it could be other family members it could be friends around you it could be literally anything it doesn't have to be romantic if it is romantic then this is very evident to you it's something that there was somebody who got into a relationship with your ex and they were trying to use this other person to either make you jealous or to cause certain reactions out of you. And this could have been so that you would lose your children. This could have been um, because you're going through a divorce with this person and they were trying to get you to do something to, to call in some sort of a failure to your life. And you persevered and have gone through this. <laughs> and I think that's why I heard checkmate. I think I'm going to title this. That. I like that. <laughs> so let's see what else. Karmic friends. Yeah, so this person was karmic to you. It says can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So that's what I'm seeing. It's like somebody who tried to triangulate your energy with somebody or something else. And this is over. So something that um, a cycle is ending. And it's like you have gotten used to whatever this is. And you're just kind of like flowing through this or relaxing during this it's like you're just going with the flow of whatever this is because for at the beginning for some of you you probably thought that you were going to lose something or that you you were in fear of something and it's like that it, that was the point to cause scarcity tactics with you and it's like you somewhere in here you realize that whatever people were saying or whatever they were doing it doesn't matter. It, it only matters what you are doing and how you are living and who you are as a person because, you know, things that people say, gossip will always travel very fast. But the truth is like a lion and it's something that will come out no matter what. The truth will always get you. Whether you're the liar or you're the person that's living in their truth, 
it's something that comes to the surface. And for people who lie, the lion will always eat you alive. So it's there's something about that, that this has come to the surface and you could be in a period of stagnation waiting for a changeover, but it looks like that's that's what's coming in. <clears throat> Whoever these people are, they could be, be, you know, always partying. They could have said that that was how you are. They could be somebody who indulge in recklessness, reckless behavior. They could be people who, you know, they're very superficial in the way that they do things. They could be worried about who they are interacting with or the way that they look. They're with this other energy of impersonation. It's like these people are only worried about superficial things and what other people can see. And that's almost what, what it is that I'm seeing that catches them. Because the other, with whoever this is, it's like they're so worried about um, looking a certain way or being a certain way that they're doing too much, that they're not only living in falsehood, but they're doing something where they're putting energy out there that is untrue to them. So at some point it catches up, you know, you don't, if you're not living in alignment, if you're portraying yourself as something else, then who you actually are, it just, it shows up. It's just not something that you can, can push down. And there's <laughs> this person could be, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting a lot of stuff at one time. Um, let me slow down. So whoever this is that's karmic to you or whoever this is that tried to put you in something, they're starting to feel like they have made a mistake. There's something about this person reflecting on how uninterested you are in them. And for others of you, there's something about other people seeing this that all you were trying to do was walk away, that you didn't want to engage in whatever this is, that you were just trying to leave this person behind. And that's what triggered all of this. And it's showing that this person who was trying to mimic your energy, it's like they just, their ego is what got the best of them. And that's the truth that's being exposed here. This could be somebody who spies on you regularly or they were doing this throughout this cycle. Why is this coming out? And that's what I'm saying is legal issues for someone. So <clears throat> there could be lawyers involved in whatever this has to do with. There could be something here where um, the bottom of this deck is groupy. So it's like whatever fake narrative this person was trying to push over your life there could be legal issues that this person is starting to reflect on and think that maybe they shouldn't have gone this far or things shouldn't have gone the way that they did and that they should have just let you go they see that this person um wasted their time whoever this is in the court system or this could be you know the court of public opinion where people think that this person wasted their time and that, um, like, you're somebody that's protected. And this says your light irritates their demons. So there's something about you, them doing all of this, and your truth shining through. So that's the message. I'm going to go ahead and end the reading there. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.